why would you have a Google form and not have a spreadsheet? Like you should always have a spreadsheet. So let's take a look at that. When you create a Google form, how do you make a Google form? My favorite way, whoops, finally caught up to me, is to do forms.new. I go to forms.new, it creates a new form. Of course, I can also just go to Google Drive and make a Google form from there. So however you do it, you have a Google form, then there's now three tabs. They used to only have two tabs and a little settings cog. They got rid of the settings cog and now they have a settings tab. So there are three tabs. You can see it says questions, responses, and settings. So you want to be in that middle one, the responses tab. I'm going to be honest. I'm so used to there only being two tabs. I keep accidentally keep clicking on settings when I really want responses. And then once I'm on that responses tab, I can see this spreadsheet icon. It looks like this. And I'm going to click on it to make a spreadsheet. So that's all I have in terms of slides. Let's take a look at what that looks like in a Google form. So I'm going to do forms.new. I'm going to click on the responses tab. You see it is that second tab right there, responses. And I'm going to click create spreadsheet. That is that green icon right here. And it's going to ask me two things. Do I want to create a new spreadsheet or do I want to select an existing spreadsheet? Now, let's be really clear what's going to happen here. Like, what? why would I even want a spreadsheet? A copy of your form responses, a copy of your form responses will go to the spreadsheet. That's really great because if you delete things out of your form or you just want an extra copy or you want to be able to save them from last year or you want to be able to manipulate and look at the data because it's kind of hard to look at it in the form, all of these are great reasons to have a spreadsheet. Basically, it makes a backup that is at a bare minimum. And so remember this, if it deletes on the form, it does not delete on the spreadsheet. If you edit or delete it on the spreadsheet, it does not edit or delete on the form. It makes a copy and it's copied and then they're separate, those responses. Now watch what happens when I choose create. This is going to create a new spreadsheet, open up in a new tab if you have pop-ups available. And you'll see here it says timestamp, email address, and untitled questions. What is that? Because I didn't make any questions. Usually you want to make your Google form first because the order that your questions are in is the order that they'll be in your spreadsheet. Well, duh, Alice. Okay, maybe, duh. But sometimes I'm making my Google form and then I move the questions around. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go to questions. Here's the untitled question. What color is Red Riding Hood's hood? And I'm Right, and if I come back over here and look at the spreadsheet, there we go. It, these are dynamic. The column headers are going to match. If I change this question, it's going to change it in the spreadsheet. Check this out. Who is the antagonist? Wait for it. There you go. Right, whatever my question is, it's going to reflect here on the spreadsheet. So I'm like, who is the antagonist? What color is red writing hood's hood? I'm like, ah, oh, forgot to do what is your name? Okay, so let's go take a look at the spreadsheet. What happens as I type these questions? It adds those questions into the spreadsheet. But what is your name is third. I'm like, wait a minute, this is not the order that I wanted it in. So I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna grab these little grippy dots. I'm going to drag this up. So what is your name is first, right? Okay, that's better. Look over in the spreadsheet. It does not reorganize them in the spreadsheet. If I edit it, I say, what is your full name? It will update in the spreadsheet, but it's that question, that column. So it doesn't matter if I move the question, it's been assigned that column. So they don't move order. So the way to really manage that is to make the Google form first. So I'm going to click here on responses. I'm going to use these three dots and I'm going to unlink the form. So all that means is the form in the spreadsheet get a divorce. I'm going to unlink it, unlink. And so what you'll see is that my spreadsheet's still here. It's not going anywhere. I have my form. I'm going to go ahead and create a spreadsheet. 
Now I'm going to select an existing spreadsheet so it goes into the same spreadsheet. So I'm going to select, I'm going to take this untitled form since I never named it. There we go. So now you'll see it says, what is your name? Who is the antagonist? What color is Red Riding Hood's hood? Now the questions are in the same order and the spreadsheet matches that order because I started fresh. It cop makes a new copy over into this spreadsheet. So the trick is make your questions first and then create the spreadsheet and then your question order and your columns will match. Can you move the questions in the columns? Can you move the columns? Yes. Yes, it is a column ID. It knows which column it was. Even if you scramble them in the spreadsheet, they'll go to the right place. So let's take a look when I fill this out. I'm gonna go up here to the eyeball. I'm gonna fill this out. My name, okay. My name is Alice Keeler and apparently those are things. So when I come over here to the spreadsheet, you can see it says my full name is Alice Keeler. So it was question one in the form. I moved the columns, but it still put my name in the right column. So it knows which column goes with which question. They are connected. There's a column ID in there that you don't see. But so if you, create the spreadsheet and then you decide you want the columns to be in a different order that's not a problem you can drag and move the questions around in the spreadsheet it's fine that's allowed so i'm going to come back here i'm going to put some better options on my form now let me explain this it only the spreadsheet is only looking at the question it's not looking at the question style so if it's multiple choice, if it's fill in the blank, if it's drop down, if it's check boxes, it doesn't matter because what happens is the answer is put in the spreadsheet, not the answer type. So the in terms of connecting them, when I say antagonist is the wolf or it's grandma or it's red, and I do red, blue, green, those options aren't in the spreadsheet. They're not part of the connection other than when I answer it. So when I submit another response, you can see it now says Wolf, Grandma, and Red because I edited my form. Submit. Let's take a look at what this looks like over in the spreadsheet. So I can see on the responses, it put the name in the right spot. Way over here where I moved antagonist to column K, put the, the antagonist is the wolf. So even though I put them in a different, the columns in a different order in the spreadsheet, it doesn't matter. So I can rearrange my Google form and I can rearrange my spreadsheet. It's fine. Now let's look and see what happens if I go to the responses tab and I use the three dots and I unlink the form. Now the form and the spreadsheet are getting a divorce, okay? And I'm gonna create a spreadsheet. Do I want a new spreadsheet? Actually, I'm just gonna use the one I was using before. So this is my trick year to year. I have the Google form from last year. This year, I'm gonna use the same Google form. I'm just gonna unlink the form in the spreadsheet and then I'm gonna select the existing spreadsheet so this year's responses go to the same spreadsheet so i'm going to select an existing spreadsheet now watch what happens and i'm going to select this one same spreadsheet because why not it's going to make a third tab so you'll see here once it loads it says form responses one it has no answers in it when it loads it has no answers in it because you'll remember that I had created the spreadsheet for the form and then I unlinked them. So it's gonna stop sending responses to that tab. So then I linked it again to the same spreadsheet. So it inserted a new sheet and it has those answers there, but I've unlinked the form. So it is no longer sending responses to this tab. And how can you tell? Take a look at the tab. When you look at the tab, you see that it has a 
Google Forms icon. That's the tab that is accepting responses. That's the tab. Now, but you're like, wait a minute, it has the old responses. It does have the old responses. So because it's going to copy the responses into the spreadsheet. So, so long as you have responses, they're going to copy over. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out again. Submit another response. I'm going to say the antagonist is grandma. Now watch what happens. You can see that it did add that response into the spreadsheet. It's not in responses to because there's no form icon. Look at that tab. There's no icon on that tab. That tab is no longer accepting responses. But let's say that form responses two is last year and form responses three is this year. Why well, have last year's answers mixed in with this year's answers? That's not what I wanted. So what I would like to do, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all responses. This feels scary, but that's why we make a Google Sheets spreadsheet because I deleted the responses, but I still have a copy of them here in the spreadsheet. Remember, it makes a copy of the responses to the spreadsheet, a copy, and then they don't talk to each other anymore. So if I delete it in the form, it does not delete in the spreadsheet. If I delete it in the spreadsheet, it does not delete it in the form. Now, how many times do you think I've done this where I forgot to delete out last year's responses? No problem. You can just delete those columns. Just, dang it. Just delete them. Because remember, deleting it in the spreadsheet doesn't affect the form. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit another response. Let's go check the spreadsheet. So we've got Larry King in here. And that worked. But if I go back to the form, you see the form says there's only one response because I have three dots and I deleted all of the responses. So let's see what happens when I unlink the form. I'm going to unlink the form. Form in the spreadsheet, get a divorce. Unlink. Do the spreadsheet icon, connect it back to the same spreadsheet. That means that third tab is no longer accepting the responses. And this fourth tab is going to accept the responses. And it only has Larry King because there was only one response in the form. So just be aware of what we're doing here is that when the form is submitted, if there is a spreadsheet connected, a copy of those responses will be taken over. If you unlink the form, if the responses are still in the form and you make a new spreadsheet or you link the spreadsheet, either way, whatever responses you have will be copied at that time and any new responses will also be copied to the spreadsheet. All right, so now that I have them in a spreadsheet, let's look at this tab. What's great about this is now I can sort it. So I can hover over column C and I can sort it A to Z. So I can alphabetize, I can sort the question A to Z. So I can see, did anyone get this right? I can look at the responses by question. I can read them a lot easier than trying to read them through the Google form. Okay, so to recap, I'm gonna go to forms.new or I just go to Google Drive and I create a Google form. And wait for that to load. My internet cable melted. I'm waiting for a new one to come in the mail. So I'm on Wi-Fi. That is a little sketchy. It shouldn't be bad though. Come on, why isn't this loading? Mm. Oh, you can do form.new or forms.new. I don't know. That one just didn't want to load. It was like broken. Okay. I'm going to say call this delete because I'm just making a sample. I go to the responses tab. I click on the icon before I create spreadsheet. I recommend that you've 
made your questions and put them in the order you want so that the order of your questions matches the order of your spreadsheet. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and create the spreadsheet and I create it. And now any responses I get in the Google form are going to go into the spreadsheet. You can then, to use it next year, three dots, unlink the form, and then three dots, delete all the responses. So to do your form fresh, you're going to unlink the form, you're going to delete the responses, and then go ahead and click the spreadsheet icon to create a new spreadsheet, which you can either create a brand new one, or you can link it to the spreadsheet that you had last year so you can see how everybody did year after year. Is there any questions?